Hello. What inspired you to run the Boston Marathon? My mom, and I've always been a runner, and I always wanted to challenge myself one more time before the end of this decade. I'm actually representing my daughter, Kathleen, who is running the Boston Marathon, and um, so I'll tell you what she said. She said that I inspired her when she was nine years old and I ran my first marathon. <clears throat> Setting a goal and doing everything that you can to achieve it. I ran uh, the Boston Marathon in 2014. I never thought I'd run it again, but here I am now. What is your running background? So I started running with my dad when I was in middle school, like you guys. Um, I ran for uh, cross country and track teams. Um, and then my first marathon, I ran when I was a freshman in college. And then I ran some triathlons and then a half Ironman in 2007. Very impressive. Um, Kathleen started running three years ago with me. Um, she took a break when she had her third child, and then since then she's run several half marathons and many 5Ks. In 2012 and 2013, I ran a couple of half marathons, and then um, in 2014 I was able to get a number for uh, the Boston Marathon. What's the best part about running the Boston Marathon? The best part will be um, seeing all of the spectators out along the course, of course seeing my husband and my two kids, and all of the funny costumes that you see along the way. The best part for Kathleen will be seeing that finish line. The best part is running through downtown Natick and Wellesley when you still have some energy and then the crowd is just unbelievable and a lot of energy and it's just a really cool experience. What is the hardest part about running a marathon? Making sure I don't get injured while I'm putting in so many miles. For my daughter, the hardest thing is leaving her three kids and her husband for all the training time, so that's really difficult. Other than the 26.2 miles, the hardest part is the fundraising. <laughs> Who are you fundraising for, and how much do you need to raise? I am fundraising for the Desire to Inspire Foundation, and I need to raise $5,000. Kathleen is running for the Hopkinton Police Association, and she has to raise $5,000. I'm running for the Skies and Limit Courtyard, and I also need to raise $5,000. Why are you having a movie night? Well, it's a fun night out for all of the students, and all of the proceeds will go directly toward the fun our fundraising efforts. And now if you're interested in how you sign up, um, it is $5 ahead of time or $6 at the door to purchase a ticket. Um, you can pick up your permission slip from guidance and return it to the guidance office. We'll have a box on, on the um, main counter there. You can give it to myself, to Mr. Parquet or Ms. Passier in their rooms, and we'll make sure it gets to the proper place. But make sure you come to see this great movie and support these awesome people who have worked so hard. Why did you choose a movie, Wonder? We chose the movie Wonder because Wonder is a really inspiring movie. It shows how hard work and determination can bring success. So we thought this would be a great movie to inspire everyone in the audience, to inspire the runners, and also help support them. So it's a great movie for this. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next Friday night.